All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to go over, should you get the CompTIA Network Plus or the CCNA? So those are the two biggest certifications when it comes to networking, especially that are, they're very beginner friendly, right? Um, those two certifications, if you guys are basically trying to get into networking or have some sort of interest in learning about networking, those are probably the two main certifications that you guys see. Um, the CCNA is, a, is basically Cisco's version of a networking certification. CompTIA is a vendor neutral sort of certification where it's basically just covers networking bare bones with no sort of vendor in mind. So those are the two certifications that I want to go over today because there's a lot of similarities between them. And I've gotten a lot of questions about whether should, they should go for the Net Plus or should I go for the CCNA? Should I get the Network Plus then the CCNA? Um, and I'll try to cover all that dismay, everything that I know about this, and maybe this can maybe help you in deciding which certification works for you because there's no right or wrong answer. It mainly depends on your use case and how you want to start your IT journey or where you want to go. It really just depends. So I'm going to build out some scenarios for you guys, and then we can go from there. So we'll start off with the Network Plus and what that is. So Network Plus is one of CompTIA's many certifications. If you guys don't know, CompTIA provides security certifications, cloud certifications, just a ton of certifications. Um, that are very uh, vendor neutral. And that's a very big thing that I want to cover today is vendor neutrality. So uh, as you guys know, within networking, there's different vendors. There's Juniper, there's Cisco, there's Arista, there's many more. And all these vendors have different either CLIs, which is like how they run their commands. They use different terminology sometimes. They have different routing protocols. So it, the, and the reason why these vendors are actually using certifications as their way to like the reason that they have certification in the first place is so people can adopt their sort of software, right? So if a lot of people are learning Cisco software, guess what? Companies are be like, okay, look, the majority of talent have Cisco. Let's 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 um let's go ahead and invest in Cisco equipment, right? So that's the main reason why vendors would like to teach it because they want to you know show their sort of you know their work and why it's more beneficial. And if there's more people that are learning this specific um, vendor, then guess what? More companies are gonna adopt that. So that's a very big reason why they do that. So going to CompTIA, uh, vendor neutral. So you're gonna learn all the basics about networking, right? From square one, it's gonna be super simple. And the thing with the, with CompTIA Network Plus, it's probably the easiest certification to get into if you just wanna become a network engineer, or not, sorry, let me reword that. To not become a network engineer, it's the easiest certification to learn networking, okay? It's a wonderful certification because it covers all the bases for you uh, without that sort of vendor uh, flavor in it, right? So that's a really big thing that I like about it. Um, it's not as difficult as the CCNA. The CCNA is much, much more difficult. It covers, it's way more dense. It covers a lot more topics. And for you guys to really um, understand the CCNA topics, having that network plus understanding of just like the basic networking is gonna be so much easier to actually learn the CCNA concepts because CCNA does cover the basics as well, but it's a lot more dense. If you can see the book is really, really fat. It can be a bit like it's a massive book so um the ccna is a great certification but back to the comta very easy in terms of uh, of in terms of like the networking space obviously networking in general can be a little bit difficult to get the grasp of and understand so that's just something that maybe you guys will have to figure out on your own but um networking the comta network plus super simple in terms of like the network certifications i would say is the easiest one to get out of all the certifications for networking so what use case would this be best for? So if you guys have absolutely zero knowledge of networking, and let's say you wanna get into security, you wanna to get to networking, you wanna to get, to get into cloud, and you understand that networking is a very good fundamental skill that you need, then I would say definitely get the CompTIA Network Plus because that's just gonna get your feet wet, um, especially for people who just don't know where to go. Maybe you're in university, maybe you just started your IT career, and you don't know which field to get into, right? Um, I would say get the CompTIA because that's gonna be the quickest, the easiest and the less time invested, right? So that's a wonderful certification for you guys to get if you guys just don't know where to get into, right? So, but if you guys are in a, in a, in a maybe you guys have some network knowledge or you are very dead set on becoming a network engineer, then I would say just go for the CCNA. Go right for it. Um, it's gonna be much, much more difficult, but at least in this case, you know what you're getting yourself into. So that's the one, that's the main benefit of getting the CCNA is um, it's another thing is it's more respected in the industry. Um, if you have a CompTIA Network Plus, uh, most job recruiters and most, um, when you work in companies, not that many people have CCNAs that are network engineers because it's such a low, low, low level certification 
that it, it, it just isn't going to be useful to, for you to find careers and jobs because it just it just isn't. So the CCNA is much more respected. Um, if you look at job boards, it's almost always you're asking for CCNAs. You'll never see Network Plus. Network Plus is almost like just another certification that it's like a building block. It's like a ladder to another certification, right? So let's say hypothetically you want to become a security, cybersecurity engineer. To learn cybersecurity, you have to have an understanding of networking. Then you would go for the Network Plus to learn that networking understanding, but you don't have to get too deep to where you have to get the CCNA or CCMP and be very vendor specific where you have all this knowledge that you're not going to really use when you become a cybersecurity engineer. So get the Network Plus to learn the network fundamentals, and then you can move your way to a security certification of your choice at that point, depending on what you want to get into. So that's how I would frame it the, between which you should choose. Um, like I said, there's no certification that's better than the other. Um, it just depends on your use case because in terms of difficulty, I would say Network Plus is like a four out of 10, well, maybe like a three out of 10, uh, depending on your knowledge or how, how deep you are into networking. CC now would say it's like a six because the difficulty, it covers a ton and it's a lot. It took me a while to actually pass my CCNA, almost a year, almost to think about the story of how long it took me to pass that CCNA. Network Plus, if you study and grind it out, you can pass it within a month and a half uh, decently. So that's how I would frame it. Both certifications are wonderful, but it really just depends on your use case and where you want to go. So um, hopefully this video has been very helpful for you guys. Like I said, don't get too caught up on what certification I should take and what certification is better you first have to understand where do you want to go. You first have to have create yourself a path for yourself because um, getting all these certifications is great, but without a end goal in mind, there's no point of taking the certification because you're just going to be the person who gets certification after certification without any sort of end goal that they want to get to. So um, before all that, you first have to decide where you want to go. And then once you've decided on that, then you can make that decision for yourself. So like I said, just to recap, Network Plus, easier vendor neutral so you're only going to learn networking concepts without the the mindset of cisco or juniper or whatever um it's much more easier to to, to grasp it's going to be quicker to pass so that would say and also it's like if you just want to get your feet wet in networking and have a networking knowledge and just have that in your resume to add as another arsenal to it that you can if you want to become cybersecurity or even if you want to come networking if you just if you just don't or if you just don't know where you want to get into but you still understand that networking is a fundamental concept that you need to learn then get Comte and Network Plus. If you are dead set on becoming a network engineer or dead set becoming, or just or just someone who wants to learn more about networking, or your company is highly focused on Cisco, right? Like Cisco, um, you know, as a vendor and they, they use a lot of their equipment, which to be honest, most of most networking equipment, I would say is Cisco um, throughout the industry from what I've seen. So I would say, you know, it's, if you, and most of the time, and don't be too afraid that if you ever learn Cisco, um, and you let's say you go somewhere and they, they use Juniper or they use a different vendor and you're just, you just don't know. Um, you, you first have to understand is that as long as you have the fundamentals, you can learn any vendor, right? Just like programmers, let's say you know Python really well, you can pick up JavaScript quicker than not knowing any programming, right? Because the fundamentals is what matters. If you know how to code, it doesn't really matter what language you get into because the language is just the flavor, right? It's just the syntax. That's all it is. But at the end of the day, like I said, it all comes from networking, a networking basis. So um, don't worry too much about the vendor. Um, but like I said, Cisco, if you are going to pick a vendor, I would definitely pick Cisco because Cisco is, you know, pretty much worldwide. Like it's the biggest vendor. So might as well go for the big, the big dog um, in terms of vendors. Um, and that's why Cisco is probably the best. Obviously, there's other certification with Juniper. That's another really good vendor. So um, it just depends on, on what you want to get into. So um, CCNA, if you're dead set on becoming a network engineer, you you want to become, or you just want to have a little bit more understanding in networking, you want to do more labs, you want to do, get more practice, then go for the CCA 100%. Um, if you just want to uh, become like a full on, have a networking, uh, full on networking knowledge and have more in depth knowledge, especially in Cisco. So so hopefully this uh, answers your guys' questions on whether they should go for the Network Plus or the CCNA. Again, if you guys have any more questions, please leave it down in the comment section below. Um, and if you find this help, uh, if you ever found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a like. Um, and also, if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, with that being said, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in and uh, peace.